Any views, thoughts, and opinions expressed by the journalists and guests are solely that of the journalists and guests and do not reflect the views, opinion, policies, or positions of Positive Lifestyle Management, LLC. <music>
This kind of attitude should be eradicated to ensure that there will be no stupid rumors formulating out of our organization. This stupidity has in the past and will in the future get people's hurt unnecessarily. It also causes confusions and sometimes spookisms amongst people that are not involved. This should be acknowledged by all the people. It should be acknowledged by all the peoples. Our people are suffering from this here. And I say this here because I see all kind of guys jumping on social media, discussing things that they don't have no knowledge, no real evidence of fact on spreading all kind of false misleading rumors disrupting organizational unity causing confusion causing problems resisting opposing suggestions and uh things coming from those who are in the position of no saying all kind of stupid things out their mouths not being you know what I'm talking about it's just it's it's saddening so the next thing I want y'all to read or to, to listen to is this still number one social media has now become a mainstay in our culture it's a way for folks to communicate and it's a way for people to interact socially over the internet with just a couple of mouse clicks we can share our latest experiences with everybody on the planet if we wanted to. And that's the first big problem with social media and defending criminal charges. Whether you post a status update, whether you post a video or photographs on your social media platforms, that material can be used against you in court by the prosecutor. If the prosecutor can locate it, and figure out a way to admit it into court, they can incriminate you simply with something that you posted on your Twitter account or on your latest Facebook status update. Many clients ask me, well, can't I just set my social media to private? Well, I respond to them in this way. One, it's the government investigating you on the internet. Don't you think the people that work for the government are smart enough to crack a privacy setting on Facebook or some other social media platform? So private or not, the things that you post on the internet by way of your social media accounts can and will be used against you in court. Now, Let's get one thing understood. Brothers and sisters, and I'm speaking to all the righteous ones. I'm not speaking to those who don't have a clue. I'm not talking about the ones that sprewing all this nonsense around. I'm talking to those of you who are in the know and who are righteous. Please, Please stay off social media arguing and going back and forth with these agent provocateurs who's posting all these bogus memos, who's posting all these bogus statuses. These, a lot of these dudes are government agents and their job is to do exactly what they are doing. Social media will get you caught up you're gonna be on social media stay positive and productive show the things that you are doing talk about the businesses and things that you are running talk about the education the economics the political and the social development that's going on inside of your community don't get on here going back and forth with these agent provocateurs you got people's on here talking about they was in pontiac back in 1993 94 these people's was nowhere to be found 
Nobody knows them. Nobody know who they are. Nobody can recognize them. And I was there in Pontiac in 1993. I was there in Pontiac in 1994. I was in Pontiac in 1992, 93, 94, 95. I was there in 89. And people can vouch for me being there. People know that I was there. And I know the majority of the people who were there. Now you have people jumping all on this social media stuff, saying they was places where nobody can recognize them. They placing all this bogus memos and all this trash on here. Don't go back and forth with them. If they saying some stupid, maintain the dough because what the government is doing they are using social media to prosecute the same thing they just did to them little young brothers down there in uh, uh georgia the little young the s the ysl guys you know so and the uh yfn guys and they talking about doing some more indictments down there in atlanta using social media so stay off of it don't go back and forth with people when you already know the truth. You ain't the truth don't need no support. Truth changes not. But falsehood always going to change. Remember what I told y'all. When truth is on the scene, falsehood would flee. But falsehood is not going to flee without a fight. But just rest assured, everything is going to be okay. Don't argue with these guys you got guys running around here talking about research departments ain't no such thing as no research department ain't none of that stuff man guys around here self-appointed they self-appointing they self to do things man don't listen to them they are false prophets and they speak with forked tongues stay on what you're doing and remember this here and I want y'all to understand this. And I've been telling people this here. You know how many federal agents, man, are posing as regular so-called GDs, Vice Lords, Stones, BDs, Crips, Bloods, and uh, 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 Serenios, and ms-13s and latin folks and latin king you know how many agents proposing like this and they putting up pictures anybody can open up a facebook page anybody can open up an instagram account they can put any picture up there they can they can go this their job this is the government's job so y'all have to be mindful on who you're talking to have the people that's on this facebook stuff y'all don't even know they coming on here putting all these six point stars and pitchforks and five point stars hadn't canes everywhere man listen the majority of these peoples are agents and they're getting y'all locked up on some dumb stuff and they're using your statuses people saying that mr hoover said this mr forbes said this mr mr gino cologne said this mr this person said this this person said this. these men ain't said nothing to nobody and they using this stuff because they know y'all don't want to hear the truth what the goody mob said you don't want to hear the truth so i'm gonna lie to you make it sound fly to you and that's what they doing people's running around here talking about some research department what the hell is a research department what you researching this stuff don't even exist they fakes they phonies they frauds and if they tickling your mind they tickling your ear with this bs i'm not here to play no games with y'all i'm only here I, we stand on truth here when truth is on the scene, falsehood going to flee. And I stand on truth because I don't have nothing to gain by lying to none of y'all. Anything to gain. What the, what I got to gain? I insert the majority of my life inside of a prison cell for standing on truth, for being real. 
So what make you think I'm gonna come home after doing all these years inside of a prison cell? I'm talking about from IYC St. Charles to the Cook County Jail, from the Cook County Jail to state penitentiary, from state penitentiary to federal penitentiaries. I've been in all of them. I've been in every, every level of prison that you could say. And not one time you're gonna hear somebody saying that fee is a fake, phony, or a fraud. I've always stood on righteousness. Always. And I'm telling y'all right now, stop listening to these agents. They are agents. They are working and they're getting people's tagged into this stuff. And a lot of y'all are still friends with this dude, Anthony McIntyre. Y'all still friends with him. Y'all still friends with Austin Foster. Y'all still friends with these guys. Y'all still friends with these people lying and lying. Talking about they somewhere there and been somewhere. Dudes making Facebook live thing and they and they talking, but they don't realize that. Now, when you start talking about Pontiac, Stateville, Menard, and all these particular joints, the federal prisons, that you got people that had actually been there and was where you say you was at, I was there. And I don't know you, never heard of you, never seen you. And there's no way that you was going to come through Pontiac and be in the East House with me. I was in the East House and say that you was there and don't nobody know you. And you don't know nobody. You don't know what responsibility you had there or none of that. You just talking. And I'm watching you, man. And you're on my radar. So you either wasn't there because you know some names, you know the common names that was there, but you don't know the you don't know the, the, the people who was actually making things go. So either you was there and heard these names. If you were there, you was in protected custody. Know who you, you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. And you're on my radar. And all these guys that's running around here talking about this research department, you're on my radar. All these guys running around here talking about this, these secret table and, and VIPs and all that, y'all on my radar. And I'm coming at you. So you better be watching. Because y'all causing chaos. That's all you doing, y'all are chaos agents. Man, get out of the way. Stop it. And for the righteous one, stop listening to them. Because they bogus. They ain't on nothing. And I'm giving y'all some real, I'm giving y'all some, I don't even like to curse, but I got to use this term. I'm giving y'all some real shit. I'm not playing no games with y'all. I'm not playing. I'm tired of listening to these idiots out here. That's all they doing. So please tune them out. Stand on righteousness. Let the black and white lead you. Let it lead you. And on that note, I thank you all for tuning in to another episode of PLM News, Clearing the Smoke. I'm your brother, Fee Taylor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace.